This is an example problem using Pascal's principle to solve. So we'll start with a syringe. A syringe has two different areas on the two ends of the syringe, one by the plunger and then one by the opening on the right of this picture. But I can't use Pascal's problem yet because it's not an enclosed uh, structure. So what I'll do is add a stopper on the end. Now I can compare the pressure at the plunger compared to the pressure at the stopper. So I'm going to call the plunger location 1, and I'll call what the stopper is for the sake of conversation, location 2. At the plunger, I'm pushing down with a force of 60 newtons, and the area of the plunger, the cross-sectional area of that disc, is 3 centimeters squared. Where the stopper is, the area of that part of the tube is a half a centimeter squared. And I want to figure out what's the force at that smaller area. According to Pascal's principle, in an enclosed figure, if I change, or an enclosed container, if I change the pressure at one location, it's felt immediately at the other location unmitigated. That is, the pressure is the same. So when I change the pressure and I apply a pressure at location 1, that's going to be the same kind of pressure that's located at uh, location 2. But I don't have the pressure at location 1. I have force and I have an area. But force over area is pressure. So what I'll do is I'll look at it as force of location 1 divided by the area of location 1. And at location 2, I'm not looking for the pressure. I'm looking for that force. And I have an area. So again, I'm going to redefine pressure as force over area of location 2. Now I'll put my, my numbers in for location 1, that is the force and the area, so 60 newtons over 3 centimeters squared. And on location 2, I'll put in whatever numbers I have and the variable. So the force at location 2 divided by the area of 0.5 centimeters squared. Cross multiply, and I get the answer of 10 newtons. And that makes sense, because I'm going from a large area to a small area. Since it's a smaller area and the pressure stays the same, I would expect to get a smaller force.